So now you can just barely see the, the Alps, beginning of the Alps. We're here at the Weisskirche, which means White Church. So it, you know, it's one of those continued stories. Now I want you to look about 11 o'clock from here and you see something white at the base of the mountains. And it's kind of fuzzy because of the clouds, kind of the fogginess. Um, but that is the Neuschwanstein Castle. That's where we're going to be going tomorrow. That's one of the two castles we'll be visiting. This is, this is the one that was uh, built as a dream castle by Mad King Ludwig. And I'm sure you all know that the Sleeping Castle, uh, Sleeping Beauty Castle was modeled after the Neuschwanstein. This is the chapel in the meadow <laughs> that everyone thinks they're going to go to, but no, that's not it. So you see the um, orange castle at the bottom. That's the Hohenschwangau. That is the uh, castle that, Mozart, or that um, uh, King Ludwig lived in while the Neuschwanstein Castle was being built. He actually lived there as well in his youth. And he moved back there while the Neuschwanstein Castle was being built so he could watch it under construction. And we're going to be touring both of those tomorrow. The Hohenschwangau in the morning and the Neuschwanstein in the afternoon. It's a reflection of the fact that they choose to be neutral at times of war. But they spend five times as much money on their education system as they do on their defense budget. You teachers might be, might approve of that. You know, it was actually Maria Theresa the mightiest of all the leaders of the Habsburgs, who instigated um, um, uh, required education up through eighth grade. So this is from the deck of our hotel room in Reuter, Austria.